What's up everyone, welcome to Northeast Preparedness. In this video, I'll be doing a quick review of the Plano 3400 series waterproof stowaway dry box. I picked up two of these from the fishing department in my local Walmart for only $4 each. I've looked on Amazon several times for dry boxes this size and they are nearly always over $15. This box measures seven and a quarter inches long, four and a half inches wide, and one and three quarters inches deep. It's not quite big enough to hold my iPhone 11 Pro Max with its case, but if I take the case off, it fits in here perfect. Let's test its watertight seal and then take a look at a sample kit that I built inside it. So we're gonna open it up and check to see if any water got inside. I'm gonna do this without getting water from the outside. And everything is bone dry except for a couple of drops that came off the lid when I opened it. So this is definitely watertight. As you can see, no water got inside this despite submerging it for several seconds. Now I've put together a sample kit just to show you how much can fit inside this. These items are for example purposes only and not what I intend to carry inside this box. I actually picked up two of these with the intentions of making a waterproof fire kit and a waterproof first aid kit to throw in my go bag. So let's take a look at what's inside. First off, I have a small fishing kit. It's got a bobber with some fishing line, a couple of split shots, some hooks, and some swivels. An old card with some one inch Gorilla Tape. One gallon Ziploc bag. Package of Aqua Tabs. A whistle. a button compass, mini Bic lighter, some dental floss, dose of Tylenol, a couple packets of triple antibiotic ointment, a couple of band-aids, a couple of alcohol prep pads, dose of Benadryl, small multi-tool, and a decent sized flashlight. It's not a ton of space, but it's definitely enough. This dry box would be great for a fishing trip, kayaking, or a trip to the pool or the beach. That said, thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, definitely leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, then leave a thumbs down. We're quickly nearing the 500 subscriber mark and getting closer to my Amazon gift card giveaway. So if you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.